I was in a woman's <laughs> collective. Wait, were you a lesbian at some point? No, I was the housewife then. They they let straight women in then. <laughs> <laughs> but we made the horrible mistake, the straight women, the mothers, we made the horrible mistake and let uh, more than two lesbians in and they took over. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're they like rabbits. Do, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, they take over and push you out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, then we were, we kind of had everybody but they drove everybody out with so their, they were with their uh, you know what do they used to that's where it all started the uh, politically correct horse shit that's why I'm a comic mm-hmm. was always against that that's honestly they told me you can't tell your jokes can you say the word lover instead of husband yeah uh, that's what they said to me when I was doing my act on stage. Like I wasn't going through enough shit where no man would let me on any fucking stage. Uh, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. But then the bitches that are supposed to be on my side go, can you not say husband? Can you say lover? Or we can't allow you stage time here. I go, you fascist bitch. You <laughs> fucking just the same. I'll say what I fucking want to say. Oh God. It is, it is a blessing and a curse not to have a filter. I, you know, how many meetings I've been in with like like big com- you know the networks and stuff and I'll pitch something and they'll go like oh we're just like looking for something with more like with social justice and I go oh all right more unfunny TV I'll just say it <laughs> I was like there's already so many good things out keep doing that that's working TV sucks it have does. you seen TV oh, it's horrible. there wow. is nothing I good I can't watch the shows anymore it's like I I I don't really give a fuck what people do personally with their own lives. I and it's not even like I'm trying to be like I don't care what people do. Be you. I could care if you live or die. Like I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I don't care what people do. But like to push <laughs> to push the shit so far to where it feels unnatural and forced. It's like it's making for bad TV. We yeah, don't need like. Two, uh, two lesbian cops, one black, one white, named the Fosters, who are fostering children, and like, <laughs> are, like, and one of them is trans, and the other one's dating a, like a drag queen. Like, we don't need the episode to be like that. It could be a little bit of everything. Yeah, we could we could put throw it in like a seasoning every once yeah. in a while. Yeah. Right? right. You know? I agree. People but- deserve to have freaky trans sex if they want to, but like let's not oversaturate well, the market it's, it's, with anything. It's just all about the outraged television by the outraged. People <laughs> overcompensate with every opinion mm-hmm. they have. If you just like were just chill, add your opinion and just d- kind of didn't care, we'd all be fine. Yeah. But everybody is like, this is the thing and it's only that. Right. And so I'm like, who cares? It's the lesbians, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's nothing, but they don't think nothing's funny. My sister's a fucking lesbian. Mine too. Is she? Yeah. And they don't hardly think nothing's funny. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> They're known right? for not having They're a sense of humor. They're against humor. You're not the first to say that. <gasps> Some of them are my, still my fans, and they come up and they say, thank God for you, Roseanne. Because I'm never going to go with the mother kind. You know, <laughs> we understand humor and freedom of speech. Yeah. We're not fucking Nazis like them. Yeah. And you look at them and they all look like, what's her name with the pink hair? It looks like a fucking Nazi. Oh, uh, yeah. With pink hair and a <laughs> pussy hat. And my daughter, uh, the pussy hat thing. Oh, this is the best joke I ever wrote. Tell me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I go, looking back, when y'all were in the street with them pussy hats, little (laughs) damn, you all fucking were transphobic, because not every woman has a pussy, Pussy. you transphobic bitches, right? Am I right? It should have been pussy dick hats, you're right. Yeah. There was nobody walking around with a big old dick on their head. No one. Except me. And I did that video years ago where I actually got one of those rubber dicks that they wear. <laughs> I filmed that. Yeah. Yeah. Because was, my was sister's a lesbian. All her friends are lesbians. So a, quite a few of them have appendages. It's no fucking big deal. So what do you let, mean? Oh, you huh? mean like sex toy appendages? Or are you talking like oh, trans men? It's oh, yeah. no fucking big deal. Half of them are rabbis up there. Mm-hmm. in Marin County. So you do you feel like um out of like all the people that are comedy fans, lesbians get the most offended? Yes. Yes, they are the hardest to make laugh unless <laughs> they're drunk. But the- but when they're drunk, they are the best audience. 
And that is why I charge them so much. <laughs> I think it's white really? women that are the worst. White w- white women right now. The are Karens. The, worst. the Karens. White women are For the worst. For me, my worst audiences have always been like when I do shows at like Soho houses. Yeah. <laughs> You know, like those shows, like really rich young rich. elites. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ugh, disgusting. They are. They'll horrible. they'll come up to you after a show and be like, "Um, I really liked your set, but I just have a quick note." And I'm like, <laughs> oh no! I are literally had to be women? like, "Get the fuck!" Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. And I was like, "Get out of my f- fucking face!" <laughs> like, what are you talking about? What You're are the insane. notes like? Is it like the I same? I d- won't even hear them. Oh, I'm like, good. stop talking to me immediately. I don't want one note. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? Yeah. It's crazy. I it, don't want a note from you. You've never had a job. Yeah. Well, that's why. That's why they're so bored. <laughs> this is the shit they come up with because they're not working. Yeah. That's what it is. Can we just go back to the egg thing? Because I think you guys brushed it's over. It's also this what is a big we deal. said. It's yeah. bitch on bitch crime. Yeah. It is bitch on bitch crime, which is why I like that we united and you're yeah. giving me one of your eggs. This that, is really That's happening. women empowerment. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's women empowerment. I'm but going you guys to, are really doing this, right? I want to have Roseanne's are baby. Are you really into this? Because I'm, I'm being serious. I don't think it's a joke. I'm kind of into the thought of Im- <laughs> Well, she would nurture the you know because i went to a lot of expense yeah. to create that those Let's do a contract. and i'm puerto rican so no, i would just not. love a free egg <laughs> 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 you know it's fertilized though you didn't know that when you got here i didn't know it came with cum on it yeah no, I, it's, that's not, it's already a human yeah, yeah. See, is it std why, tested no, yeah. yeah it's all, tested. It's all, it's all that's why i introduced you to my son because they're his sibling it's his, yeah. gonna be his brother it'll look just like him yeah like. or, or sister. sister yeah whatever are you still into it there? Or you want? I'm to- still into it. Yeah, he's cute. He's really, no, he's, he's really very cute. cute. But like, did you want? Uh, you wanted to meet a man and have a kid with a man because or- he's half yeah. Norwegian. Uh, the problem I was like wanting to meet a man for the to come. Yeah, yeah. But like, what's yeah. the f- what's the father? What are the <laughs> They're genetics Norwegian. here? Okay, Norwegian. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't really know what that is. Or that's, uh, <laughs> that's Switzerland. You're there. Yeah. His okay. IQ is probably Norway, 85. Finland. Norway, Finland. It's in the okay. high you know, 80s. Yeah, yeah. White. They were called the White. enfants mm-hmm. in the Russian Revolution. They called them the enfants, okay. which meant the soldiers because okay. they used them because they were fierce yeah. battle goers. Okay. So that's yeah. why I biologically engineered my son to be that because the other half of them is Jewish and you know, that's all mental with a withered body and oh, ache yeah. and joints. Ancestral trauma. And yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, aching I don't and yeah. groaning and schlepping. <laughs> yeah. and whining. So I wanted him to, it. yeah, I wanted a human that was didn't have <laughs> all the shit. And it was... Mi- you it wanted was, him rich but strong. <laughs> yeah, I wanted him mentally fit. Yeah. In every way. Yeah. Like, what would it be like? I have no idea. You know? Yeah. So, okay, so there's that. He's my genius creation. That's beautiful. And he's like MMA fighting fucking bad, ugly motherfucker. You know, like I seen his dad. Here's why I bred with him. Because his dad used to be my bodyguard. One time I seen him go down the hallway ahead of me. We were drunk. He did two flips in the air, came down, and then turned around and kicked the door in backward. Yeah, that so would have got go, me pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> that would have done it. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, that's impressive. Well, so if you're that's in, in the, the egg, plus all this shit going through stand-up comedy for 40 fucking yeah. years of torture. Yeah. But it'll have none of your genetic coding. That's fine. I, I'm wondering but if she'll even be I'm the strong nurture. enough. Yeah, I'm, you, yeah, I'm even wondering nurture if... Nurture or nature. So it'll be nature nurtured yeah. by... And how I would describe you is iconoclasta, iconoclasty. What does that mean? It means you are a supreme iconoclast, which means a deep, deep thinker that can hold two disparate opinions in your mind at one time. It's brilliant. (sighs) And that's why I just love you. And you're a genius because tell about how you did your special all on your own. Mm-hmm. Talk about you didn't wait for anybody coming and saying you. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I, um, I mean, and normally I think you sell, you do deals and then you sell the special and then you film it. But I just, 
I hooked up with this place called Jam in the Van. They do really great content, have the best cameras. And we, I went up to him. I was like, this would be a great place to do a special. We should work together. And I filmed it myself. I did it like exactly how they film the specials. And I have it all cut up. And then I'm just going to bring that to people. Because I feel like it's easier to show people what you already have than to mm -hmm. give them this idea. Because every Cause if, if I waited it. on they'll people's ideas... It. Also, if I waited on people's ideas, they would never happen. Right. I have people that are like, hey, don't work on this show because I have a better idea for yeah, you. Yeah, and I've been that. like, cool, mm -hmm. and still worked on the show and don't hear from them for three years. Yeah, I'm like, no I would have been waiting for you. And then they stole everything you told them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and they got 15 sitcoms off it. Everyone's <laughs> a liar and a thief, yeah, including no me. Shit. This yeah. is your wallet. No, I'm just kidding. 